Hello everyone. It's been a little while since I've recorded a YouTube video. Sorry, I said that I was going to be best for at it. I'm trying and I'm back and I just thought I would introduce you to my new coffee machine, which I'm obsessed with. It's a espresso. <laughs> I don't know what else you call it, but, um, but it's brilliant. And I feel like if you watch the US office, there's a scene in there where they get a new coffee machine and they try all the different pods and they literally rip up the carpet. I feel like I've been going through a bit of a phase, but today I've got a coffee. I also bought this frother, but I can't seem to get my milk to froth. I don't know if it's an issue with the actual frother itself or if it's the milk that I'm using. So I've introduced this milk before. I'm saying it like it's my literal child but I use this Plenish milk. It's not sponsored or anything, but um, it literally only has water, gluten-free oats, sea salt, and yeah, it's amazing, but I can't seem to get it to froth. And I thought that oat milk frothed, but I could be wrong. So I thought today I would record a what I eat in a day because it's a video that I get requested a lot. Every day for me is different, so I thought I would do a chaotic work day, eating day. I don't have any meals planned. I have food in the fridge, which I'm, I'm going to try and not eat out today. That's my, one of my vices, the only one. <laughs> so I'm going to try and cook as much at home as I can because I have food here. I so far have had water with lemon. I've taken my supplements and I'm just having a coffee. I forgot to add collagen to my coffee, which I usually do. This is again, not sponsored, but the collagen that I use, collagen peptides. So I'll just have that later. Um, but yeah, so I'm just about to film a workout for TikTok, which is why I'm dressed like this. I have got some calls and some work bits, so yeah, I'll just take you through my day and see what I end up shoving in my gob. This light is trash, but we're gonna work with it. I've just been doing some work and I thought I would talk about something because I've basically, I've done a Q and A on Instagram, which I do every week on a Tuesday. And a question I always get asked, but I'm always reluctant to discuss it, is about my experience with binge eating. And the reason why I'm so reluctant to discuss it and I'll probably talk about this in more detail on another video because I could literally write a whole book but um, basically I used to work as a journalist and I used to talk a lot about my binge eating but I used to talk about it in the present tense because at that time I was struggling with binge eating and since that and since my recovery from my eating disorder and the fact that currently I don't struggle with binge eating, I feel like, and it has been implied in the past that I'm lying about that, which is interesting because I've been so open talking about it, so why would I now lie? And also I hate the premise that 
if you struggle with mental health, you're forever tainted as struggling with mental health when actually it ebbs and flows and it's not an identity that you have to carry with you forever. Anyway, I thought I would discuss something that I spoke to my friend about the other day because I think whenever I was really, really bad with binge eating and I struggled with bulimia as well, so I would purge my food and there was a time in when I went to university briefly, I think I was about 22, and I would get my student loan, and I would literally, I even got in some debt doing this, but I would literally walk to the local corner shop, buy loads of food, I would take it back to my room, I would eat it all alone in my room, I would make myself sick, wash my face, and then walk down to the shop, and do that again and I literally would do that like six times a day sometimes so I was quite literally pouring money and food down the drain down the toilet and it's horrible it's horrible to think that I existed like that it's really embarrassing and it's not something that I've ever really spoken about in that much detail I mean I have gone into detail but I think there are lots of stories that I haven't told because I've probably blocked them out of my memory because it was such a horrible time. But I just, sometimes I remember things and I just, it's a nice reflective moment because I'm not in that space anymore and I'm so grateful for that and I'm so grateful that I have a platform now where I can show that actually it can get better, like it doesn't have to be your life, you can live healthily, you can go about your day and food not completely consume you like it used to do me. And yeah, I just thought I'd share that because it does make me feel very proud and I probably should talk about it a little bit more. It's just such a grey area though. I feel like I don't like to overstep my boundaries and um, but I guess if I speak from personal experience, then yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, oh, I don't know what, where that clap even came from. But I am about to make some food. So I have some, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's basically like a scrambled mess. So I'm just going to get a load of veggies from my fridge and I'm going to fry them all up and add some eggs and add some spices because it's the most simple thing and it's delicious. Looks like absolute crap though, but who cares about that? just heading out to go get my steps in this is the fit because it is so sunny and lovely in Birmingham today oh look at the sky also I know I said that I probably wasn't gonna buy food out and about today but I might accidentally trip into a bakery and find that I've got a flapjack in my hand maybe <laughs> that might happen
just heading off for my reformer pilates class. I have, you can't really see actually, maybe far. <laughs> so I'm just wearing a baggy t-shirt. I've got lounge on and yeah, I haven't been in a couple of weeks. I was meant to go last week, but didn't end up going because I had a hair appointment and it ran over. So I couldn't get there in time. So I'm looking forward to it, should be fun. And then I'll come back. I've got a couple more calls in the evening and I'm going to make myself some pasta. I've got some prawns. And then read and go to bed. I think that's, that's my day done. I've just got back from Pilates and I've literally crashed. I'm so tired. I've just eaten my dinner, which was chickpea pasta with, I sound really sad. I'm not sad, I'm just tired. It was chickpea pasta, um, garlic, which I didn't really cook very well, so it was raw, um, king prawns, loads of spinach, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go back and have some more and probably going to have a banana as well. Yeah, I'm just feeling probably just need to go to bed, to be honest. I haven't been to reform in a while and I think it's just taken out of me. It was really fun though. So yeah, I'm going to leave this little vlog here. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you want to see. Make sure that you subscribe and have a lovely day.